Okay, on today's recipe, we will be cooking smothered pork chops. I made them an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> you can't be hitting the car, Father. Let me show you the recipe. Roll two. Okay, you will need some pork chops, a large onion, minced garlic, side dish of some good sweet peas, some rice, some olive oil, a pack of brown gravy, garlic powder, onion powder, Tony's Creole seasoning, and some salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, you want to season both sides with garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, and you do this all to your liking and taste, okay? And some pepper. Make sure you season both sides. Okay, you want to cook your, your pork chops on a medium fire until they're nice and brown, golden brown. <laughs> Brown. Brown, brown. On each side. And then you want to set them aside. Okay, you want to cook your onions down and all that stuff that was in the pot from the pork chops. Cook them down a little bit and then add about, mm, about that much minced garlic. And then cook that down for a little bit, about a minute or so. Alright, so when your onion is cooked down, you want to add your gravy to it. Oh, yeah. Get all that juiciness and you can mix it around a little bit here. And then the, the uh, flavor queen is going to add her little onion powder, little garlic powder. And then a little uh, two-step to it. Little Tony's. <laughs> mix that up there real quick. And then you're going to start adding your, uh, your pork chops to it. Then you want to cook this, um, add once you add your pork chops into it, you want to cook it on a kind of a lowish, low fire. Mm. And then we're going to cover it up. Mm. Yes, my hands are clean. Thank you. <laughs> you sure you washed them after you took a dump? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I don't know, did I? Uh, I don't know. Oh. And then you're going to cover up, but he didn't get the cover yet because he's slacking. I'm slacking on the job. But you're going to cover the pan up and you're going to let it cook for about, mm, I would say, 45 minutes. But keep checking on it to make sure the gravy doesn't get too thick and starts to burn. And if the gravy gets a little too thick, it's okay to add just a little water to it to thinning it up. Look at that. Boom. And there you go. Be back with the final results. We can work on that. She can coach and that's another whole man's meal for you. My stomach touching my back, baby. You act like I don't feel real. I know. You do. It just I'm just hungry. once a week. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Is that why you're so scared? Because I don't feed you. No. Then what's my excuse of my fat ass? 